Hello everybody, Minnestorm here. Welcome back to Cities Skylines. In the last episode, we finished zoning in this extension of the city along this area here. Took care of all of that. And then we went ahead and started working on building a zoo. Uh, over here, next to the Cloverleaf Highway Interchange. And so, we went ahead and started setting it up with what pieces we have for the zoo. I went ahead and named it Cenozoic Park. It's like Jurassic Park, only more recent. Um, the most... The current geological period is the Quaternary period, but Cenozoic just sounds a little bit cooler, so that's what I went with. Um, so we set up the you know, parking lot here. We've already got a guy parked there. Sounds good. What we do need over here, though, is going to be some mass transit to get to the park. And we're going to have to do something with this six-lane road, because it's it's a bit a bit much for what's going on over here. I mean, I can just extend it. Oh. This is the actual six-lane road we're using. There we go. We could um, maybe split it a little bit here. We'll see. Right, let's just go ahead and pause. Let's get it running. We're making tons of money, so we are fine on that front. This is now two stars, so I think we have some more attractions we can put in. Uh, let's take a look. So we have the main gate. We have the, a side gate. Now, actually, hold on, let me just take a look at this. Are there any, um... Policies I can put into place here? Animal ethics. So animals receive extra care and activities to keep them happy and entertained. Boost the entertainment effect of the zoo buildings. Uh, sure. Advertisement campaign. Advertise the park throughout the city to have more visitors. Draws 20% more visitors, 200 per week. Uh, main park, no. Fine for fireworks. A park area will not organize fireworks. Celebrate. Night tours. Even more fun. Yes. Recycle garbage. Yes. And... Yeah, we'll have celebrations. We'll have night tours. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll turn all that stuff on. All right, so what actually do we have here? Let's see, we have the antelope enclosure, right? And the moose and reindeer enclosures over there. We have the birdhouse, we have antelope enclosure, uh, a bison enclosure. Well, that's a little bit different. Let's see, where would we want to put the bison enclosure? Maybe we'll probably sneak it in back here. Actually, we would probably want to flip it around because I think it's designed to attach to a road. Right? Or a path. So, it might actually be best to do it like... Like this. Yep, there's a path around it. And then we'll go ahead and add that to the path. This way. And what else do we have now? Um, we have an insect, amphibian, and reptile house. Let's see. 
Will we be able to actually attach this to the bison enclosure? We apparently can, but that would be a bit weird. Um, well, let's put it in here. Leave enough room for the path. Path to come through here, right? Yes. Anything else new yet? Now let's add like a little, little sign there. And uh, maybe we'll make this... Pave that a little bit. Maybe put in some uh, picnic tables. A couple of lights. Alright, so what do we need? Let's see, we need 2,500 visitors. We have lots of entertainment. We just need the people to show up. So let's help the people get here. Let's see, do we want to do monorail? Monorail's right over there. It might be interesting trying to get it through the tunnel. We'll probably just have to go around the tunnel. Uh, we could definitely get it over the highway. So, monorail is definitely an option. And we could also do a metro station as well. Let's see, could I put... Let's see, where would be the best place to put the monorail station? Probably, like, right there. Right? Then we need six-lane monorail road, right? Yes. Does that actually work? I don't think that actually works. Yeah, I don't think that works. Uh, let's swap that back. To there. And what we'll need to do is we'll just have to take the monorail line. Off to the side. Five units, five units, there we go. Uh, anarchy it. Ah, because it was bumping into that, I think, is why it was causing a problem. But, you know what, we can just say that the engineers figured out a way to attach the actual electrical pylon to the monorail line, because it doesn't, it doesn't hit that badly. Okay, so now we have a monorail line. 
Ooh, this station is not actually attached yet. That works perfectly. Now, if we want that monorail line to go this way at all, we'll have to come out this side, I think. Because right now there's no way for it to get this way, right? Unless we extend this a little bit and then we could probably run another line that way. Now, that could be another option. Okay. So, for the actual monorail line... says 14 stops. It does? It runs through there. Yeah, it does. Um, what I might have to do is just actually um, delete that line. And then we'll just make a new one. And we'll just reset it back up how it was before. Which is, it starts here. It goes there, it goes there, and then comes here. Wait a minute, did I just screw something up? Oh, I just needed a bus line. Rudd. I don't even know what that bus line was. Ah, uh, well, they'll have to take the monorail instead. Alright, this is the line I wanted to delete. Alright, this actually, this one we can get rid of, yes. This line is the one we will need to delete. I may have to go back and figure out what that line was and remake it. Okay, so now we're gonna start this over. We're gonna go... in there and then come here and then Go all the way back. Go there, go there, go there, and then complete the line like that. And then we'll make it back to the correct color. Okay, there we go. Could bring Metro through. But I think that's alright. This is a this is an ex this is basically a hub. So they could take the metro out to here and then switch from the metro to the monorail to take the monorail the rest of the way to the zoo. Already got passengers lining up. There we go. Very good. And we just hit Megalopolis. 60,000 population. Which means that all of the unlocks are done. 
unlocked monuments. We now have options for an international airport, which would make sense to build over here near where this airport is. Like if we wanted to do... Two hundred fifty thousand. Oh, it keeps. I'm trying to just get it lined up. Like that. Okay, and then we would need a street, obviously. That may be a bit too close. Could I move the entire... Move the entire edifice a little bit. Yes, okay. Let's see, because this is actually underground a little bit, and this is above ground. It's it's a bit goofy. Uh, let's see, can we do some terrain smoothing? To reduce the grade a little bit here. I think so. Make things look a little bit more normal. Okay, I think that's probably about as good as we're gonna get. I could probably actually use a little bit over here, too. Okay, so what we would need... So we could probably even do, like, a big old parking lot through here. Um... Need to come around like this. And we would need this. Swing around and connect there. Now, don't we also have like um, footpaths? Yes. Zonable pedestrian gravel tiny road. Zonable pedestrian tiny paved road. Zonable pedestrian stone tiny road. Zonable Promenade. So if I wanted our pedestrians... ...to be able to walk, right? I 
That's a bit odd. But I'd like... people to be able to walk from here to here more easily, right? Ooh. You've cut off the power. Ah, okay. Um, there we go. Uh, let's see. What if I just went with straight roads? Straight paths. Right? Like that. Ah, uh, the, um... This guy has no power. So, we're going to need to bring some electricity through. Like that. And it's probably also going to need some water. So let's make sure that it has a nice water line. go. And let's see, what, what can I do as far as, say, like parking lot? Can I even connect a road there? I don't think so. So let's see. Eight meter. Probably want that coming through like that. Can I extend this? Yes, let's let's push that all the way through. Like that. Do a couple of smaller lots to either side. We're also going to extend these as far as we can without causing any trouble. I think that'll work. It's probably about as much as we're gonna get. Okay, so we just need to stripe it. Let 
Now, the actual handicap spots are going to want to be back here, right? Because then they'll have the easiest access to the entrance of the, the airport. Ah, Cenozoic Park has reached level 3. We now can make a sea life enclosure and a flamingo enclosure and an elephant enclosure. Okay, we'll have to get to that. Alright, let's just get these guys in here first. There we are. Fits perfect. Now, this one doesn't quite fit as nicely. Let's see, these are like electric car. These are handicap. Could I squeeze some handicap parking in here? Yes, we could probably squeeze some handicap spots in here. That last spot is a little bit of a squeeze. We might have to, uh, to correct that a tad. That's the wrong way. That is the wrong way. Come on, come on, line it up. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Can I make this just a little bit longer? I can. There we go. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of a glitch there. Looks like it was always going to be there just a little bit. And it only appears if you're directly over top of it, so I'm not that worried about it. No one is, uh, no one is using this particular airport. I might take care of striping this one up later. Because what I want to do is I want to get back over here. Yeah, everybody seems to be using this smaller municipal airport. I could just blow it up and, um... Do something else with it, but I think we'll just leave this like this. And then we'll have to try to like fill in around it a little bit. Okay, so. We now got the sea life enclosure, the elephant enclosure, the flamingo enclosure. I think we'll put the flamingo near the sea life, I think it makes sense. And when I put the elephants I put the elephants next to the bison. That could work. All right?
I'm guessing they're gonna need water. Yep, yep they're gonna need water. And where will we have the sea life enclosure? It requires a shoreline. So we would actually have to bring this all the way over here. Not impossible. I just didn't realize we were going to need this near the water. I would have built it closer to the water. But that's okay. That's okay. Well, we can just put that there. I mean, this isn't actually on the sea, but that's that's all right, I guess. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need to get a path through here. Then it's gonna have to kind of. Gonna kind of switch it back a little bit. Hmm. Well, maybe a better option is to landscape it here a little bit. Let's, uh, let's, let's lower it, and then let's smooth. Smooth the terrain. See if this looks better. Yep, that looks pretty good. And then we can drop in the uh, flamingo enclosure, right? And the flamingo enclosure, again, doesn't like snap onto a road. Because it, it has its own road around it. Which is a bit odd the way that was designed, but hey. Alright, well, what would happen if I were to say, uh... Uh... Drop that in there. And then... Fix it a little bit. There we go. Gonna need water. Uh, 
And that's going to need water. Nice, nice. Yeah, no service, no passengers being serviced at the international airport. That's a bit odd. All right, well, we're going to have to end the episode here. Uh, when we come back, actually. I should now be able to buy as many of these as I want, right? Yep. There we go. We can now buy the entire map. So, that's nice. Um, I'm not sure if we will be able to buy the entire map. At least we got that bought. I want to get some stuff down here because this is an area where we could put down a port. So, see, we have two and a half million. So I could definitely buy my way out here. Oh yeah, and someone did mention that uh, this stuff over here needs power, so I mean I can just run a quick power line. I do need to end the episode. <laughs> uh, for in a moment here, but uh, we can run the power line across there. There we go. Now the bridge should have power. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we'll end the episode here. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.